Did you notice that passenger planes today flying slower than in the 80s? And the flight from London to New York was extended by whole hours? Why is it like this? And who benefits from it? Hello, this is the captain. Every airliner these days is slower than all the airliners of the 70s and the 80s. The flights were also extended because of security arrangements that were not there before and the large number of planes. But technically a 9078 Jumbo flies faster than a 2018 Jumbo. Strange, isn't it? But there are two good reasons for this. The first reason is the aircraft engine. Each type of jet engine has a speed at which is optimal in terms of performance and fuel consumption. And the turbofan engines, which exist in every jet airliner, are optimal at the speed of around 830 miles per hour. Fly faster and the engine will drink fuel like a kid in a party. And the fuel is the biggest expense for any airline. Those companies simply didn't know how to do it in the 70s and 80s. Some even boasted of fast flight times, and it took them years to figure out that they were bleeding money. And the second reason is that when we travel, we just don't care how fast we will get there. Is the ticket cheap enough for our parts to fly with 5 intermediate stops in the most remote countries in the globe, when we are in a milking stool and in the luggage? How else will you explain the low-cost success? The matter of flying passenger thrust has already been tried. Who doesn't know the stunning supersonic Concorde? The plane failed because because it consumed too much fuel and was terribly expensive to maintain. And the price of the ticket doesn't include the operating cost, even when it was $7,500. So we saw that a faster fight is not really interesting to the public and wasting money for the companies, money that obviously came out of the passengers' pockets. It's easy to forget, but plane's tickets were much more expensive in the days we flew fast. So let's keep flying slower, but also cheaper.